What is up creators? Today is a very special day. I'm gonna show you guys how you can create better looking edits, save time in post-production, attract higher paying clients, and increase your production value with sound effects. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so here we are inside Adobe Premiere CC. And as you can see, this is a pretty in-depth layered uh, project file. This is a recent project that I produced with Red Bull for their yearly DJ competition called Red Bull 3 Style. Now, full disclosure, I've used my personal audio preset pack to do all the sound design in this project, and that's what I'm gonna be using as an example to show you guys how you can upgrade your edits using sound effects. So let's first check out the beginning sound design of this montage first, and then we'll go back and recreate a brand new sound edit from scratch. I remember going to a block party when I was about 10 years old and I watched this guy play records and controlled a thousand people. He didn't open his mouth, he just played one record after another record after another record and I looked at him and said, I want to be that dude. Let's first mute all of our different audio channels so that we can go back and see what we're working with. So we have this beginning kind of windy air sound. We have his vocals. I was about 10 years old and I was and we have the main sound effects that are kind of the glitchy noises that go along with the visual transitions that we have here. And I looked at him and said, I want to be dead. And then lastly, we kind of have this crowd atmosphere party layering. And so now we've got an idea of what we're working with. Let's go through and start from scratch, delete all these different layers. And I have my sound effect pack here that I used and I'm gonna delete that so I can start from scratch. Uh, go to my desktop here, go to the sound effects preset pack, filmcreatoracademy.com. All right, that was my plug, that's it. <laughs> all right, so as you can see, we have a bunch of different options here. We have lead-ins, short sweeps, medium sweeps, distortion noises. And what I'm gonna do now is look for the right intro sound. Okay, perfect. I really like this sound. I think it's gonna match up with the intro shot pretty perfectly. I'm gonna drag that into the timeline and trim it a bit, scoot over the intro and line these up. And there's actually a newborn baby upstairs. I think he just got home from daycare. But if you hear any stomping on the ground, any bumping in the background, don't leave, I promise. He'll probably get tired after he eats and fall asleep soon. All right, see how that sounds. I remember going to a block party when I was about 10. Gonna mute these vocals so that we can focus on the sound effects. And I really wanna do something different. Since I already went through for the client and made a whole sound design layer for this kind of edit that I'm working with you guys, I wanna do something completely different. So rather than having the real world sound effects that I had, the wind, the party, the crowd atmosphere, I wanna make something a little bit more uh, ethereal or a little bit more otherworldly. So let's see what we can find. I'm liking the kind of otherworldly sound of this first magical world effect sound. Let's drop this in. Let's kind of line it up. I know I want to line up the outro of the sound kind of with a vocal that I already have in mind. And that kind of fades out nicely into the audio track. So let's kind of tighten this up a little bit. Turn it down, because I know I'm gonna have a vocal layer beneath it. Have that nice fade in. And I'm actually really liking the way that this matches up with the footage. Let's hear it with the vocals. Another record, and I looked at him and said, I wanna be that dude. 
And that's not bad, actually. I'm gonna kind of tighten that up a little bit. Like I said, I wanted the fade out swoosh of that magical world uh, sound effect to kind of line up perfectly with that last epic vocal statement that he makes at the end of his vocals. So now what we're gonna do is kind of look in this distortion folder that I have and see if we can find some right audio sounds that can match up with the visual glitchiness that we have in this intro montage. And with these kind of glitchy sounds, you really don't need that much. You really just kind of need two or three frames of the actual sound. I think that this kind of sound might match better on the end of that cutaway shot. Kind of like that little blip right there. Drop that in, trim it up. Cool, so let's move forward onto this kind of cutaway. We have kind of these more kind of glitchy cutaway shots. I like that poppiness. I'm gonna put an in point and out point and drag that into the timeline. And really what you're looking to do here with any kind of sound effects that you're adding is you really wanna create a marriage between the visuals and the audio. You really wanna find that perfect sound effect that really complements what the viewer is actually seeing. If it's kind of a short, blippy, glitchy cutaway, you kinda of wanna have that poppy sound effect glitch. You don't wanna have something bright and happy, you want something a little bit more gritty and glitchy. And I really like this lead-in sound that I have here. I'm gonna cut this up and see what we can do with it. And what's actually a huge time saver here is that I only added sounds that I actually use in my project. So rather than going through and scrolling through hundreds of hundreds of different sounds to find what you're looking for, it's a more of a smaller library here with only good sounds. And there's actually a reverb version and a non-reverb version for each sound. So sometimes you want that reverb and then sometimes you don't really need it. Doesn't quite match up with the sound at the beginning of this clip. Let's see what we can find towards the end of it. This might cut together well with this party shot. Trim the end of the clip. And let's find something else. Kind of liking this little bit right here. Let's see how that sounds. I remember going to a block party when I was about 10 years old and I watched this guy play records and controlled a thousand people. He didn't open his mouth. He just played one record after another. Okay, that's good for now. Like I said, this is just an example. You know, you can really fine tune this and get as perfect as you want. But for the purpose of this video, I wanna keep moving because I got a lot to show you guys. So I'm actually gonna speed up this portion. It's just more of finding the right sound for the right moment in the timeline. Alrighty, now let's take a look at what we have. I remember going to a block party when I was about 10 years old and I watched this guy play records and controlled a thousand people. He didn't open his mouth. He just played one record after another record after another record. And I looked at him and said, I want to be that dude. Boom. <laughs> so there you have it. So let's check out another opportunity later in the edit and see what creative idea we can come up with. Something different, something fresh, something dope. That's it. Cool. So what we have is one of the judges talking about what he's looking for in the contestants for the contest. Uh, it definitely just needs some kind of swoosh or some lead in to go from just his vocals into the music montage, which is something that you'll run into a lot. That's the perfect sound right there. Let's drop that puppy in. These kind of transitions help out, like I said, a lot with going from not having any music to bringing in music in a way that sounds good for the audience. Fresh, some dope. That's it. <laughs> so.
So that's the second tip for you guys on how to use sound effects to upgrade the quality of your videos. Now, this next example didn't make the cut for this video for time's sake, but if you do want to see the bonus tip that I show in this segment, you can see it in my free filmmaking community on Facebook called the Film Creator Academy. I'll leave a link below in the description. Now let's get into the third and final tip on how to maybe spice up the ending of your video. I've been blessed with the opportunity to see so many different places over the last two years, experience so many different experiences, and most importantly, be the DJ and the artist and the entertainer that I really wanted to be. So you can see that the end of this track, it does kind of have a little revving kind of sound, which is nice, but I really want to kind of increase the overall energy of this last ending montage. Now I'm going to pick this sound for my preset pack. This has got to be my favorite sound. I use it in a lot of my videos. It's a recording of an old, old camera with a flash and it's super layered, it's super saturated and I love this sound. Also, one really cool thing that you can do with all sound effects in this preset pack, but any sound effect that you have as well, is change the speed duration of the sound. You can do this to change the pitch, and then you can also do this to change the timing. So if you have a sound effect like this one that I really like, I know I want to use, but it's not quite fitting with the other elements in your timeline, I try using the speed and duration settings to get the sound you're looking for. Perfect, and that is the third and final tip to add a little bit more energy and a little bit more impact on the end of your edit. You can simply use a rise or a sweep up type of sound effect. Now, let's take it back to my office. And that is how you make better looking videos using sound effects. And just like I mentioned, this is a video and audio preset pack that we're bundling together and releasing to you guys through the Film Creator Academy at a special discount just for this launch. You can click the link in the description of this video, <laughs> video, video, to get that special discount for this pack. And it also has a third bonus, which is our, what is it? Bonus training, where you're gonna discover the secrets that me and my partner Nicole uses to get more followers, more views, and better engagement and overall exposure on your videos. So get up in that link and get that boost pack. And if you haven't already, check out the filmcreatoracademy.com or you can join our free Facebook community, Film Creator Academy. That's it. <laughs>